What's up, everyone? Welcome to Film Spot, and today we'll be talking about best upcoming movies. The official title for the new Transformers film has been revealed as Transformers: Rise of the Beasts, confirming a live-action adaptation of the fan-favorite television series Beast Wars. In the Heights star Anthony Ramos has been tapped to lead a revival of the franchise alongside Judas and the Black Messiah star Dominique Fishback. Dexter actress Lara Luna Velez is also on board as Ramos's character's mom. Now, Paramount has announced that the film will be titled Transformers: Rise of the Beasts. The announcement came during a press conference detailing the future of the franchise. The studio also took time to reveal that Transformers 7 has begun filming and they expect Rise of the Beasts to hit theaters sometime in 2022. The film will be set in 1994 in Brooklyn after the events of Bumblebee, but before Michael Bay's series of films. Paramount also revealed a ton of new details about Transformers: Rise of the Beasts, including its main villain. The film will feature Scourge, the leader of the Terrorcons, as its primary antagonist. Not much is known about Scourge other than he will be very different from the other Transformers in the film and has a huge claw for a left hand with yellow electricity. Shazam: Fury of the Gods director David F. Sandberg unveils the first official look at the entire Shazam family's new costumes. Following the success of 2019's Shazam, Warner Brothers greenlit a sequel with Sandberg back at the helm. The first movie followed the origins of young hero Billy Batson, who is granted the ability to turn into an adult superhero whenever he says the word Shazam. Shazam 2 is currently slated to arrive in theaters in 2023. However, despite that date still being 2 years away, production on the film has already begun. With plot details still being kept under wraps, most of the news surrounding Shazam 2 has been about new cast members and updated costumes. When it comes to the former, the DCEU sequel will have a pair of very impressive villains going up against the heroes. Helen Mirren as Hespera and Lucy Liu as Calypso. West Side Story breakout Rachel Zegler has also joined the cast. Additionally, Shazam 2 will include the returns of Billy and his foster siblings, all of whom are getting new costumes. After teasing the arrival of said costumes for a while now, Sandberg decided to get ahead of a potential leak by posting an image of the adult cast in their full updated suits on Monday morning. Hotel Transylvania: Transformania has been delayed from a summer release to fall. The fourth and final film in the Hotel Transylvania franchise will see Dracula and the various monsters turn into humans. While the human character Johnny transforms into a monster, according to Variety, Sony Pictures has moved Hotel Transylvania 4 to an October 1st, 2021 release date. The film was originally set to open on July 23rd, 2021, on a summer release date that was similar to Hotel Transylvania 3: Summer Vacation. It will be the first film in the franchise to open in October, as the first two installments opened in September. In an interview with Collider, Kevin Hart confirmed that Jumanji 4 is definitely happening. According to him, it's all based on timing for the actors, as many of them are currently working on other projects, but they are committed to returning for another film. Jumanji: The Next Level set up a few things for a fourth movie, including the twist involving villain Jurgen the Brutal. While the movie concluded with Jurgen's death, Johnson confirmed in a social media post after the film's release that Jurgen was a playable avatar in Jumanji, meaning someone is playing him, and that the fourth movie will answer who that person is. The credit scene also showed the game crossing over to the real world, which hints that, like the original movie, Jumanji 4 could take place in the real world. Nobody director Ian Schuller confirms that the Nobody 2 script is already being written, penned by John Wick creator Derek Kolstad. This year's action flick Nobody was a surprise hit. The film stars Bob Odenkirk as average family man Hutch Mansell, who accidentally becomes the target of a vengeful drug lord after defending a woman on a bus being harassed by a group of men. The film was originally supposed to hit theaters in August 2020, but like many, was pushed to 2021 due to the coronavirus pandemic. Despite releasing in March amid the pandemic, Nobody took home $26 million domestically on a $16 million budget and received generally positive reviews from critics and audiences, who particularly praised the impressive action sequences and Odenkirk's performance. The film released digitally and on digital platforms in April and had many wondering if Hutch's story was going to be continued. In April, Kolstad revealed that he already has an opening scene in mind for Nobody 2. Now speaking with Joe Blow, Nobody director Ian Schuller revealed that a script for the sequel is already being written. While Schuller clarified that a sequel is not defined yet, as it has not been greenlit, Kolstad is already working to continue Hutch's journey. F9 star Tyrese Gibson reveals that Fast and Furious 10 and 11 will shoot back to back. 
Now, in an interview ahead of F9's release, Tyrese Gibson revealed that director Justin Lin is planning to shoot Fast and Furious 10 and 11 back-to-back. -back. The films will act as a two-part finale for the original saga, and filming them back-to-back -back will ensure a shorter wait time between their releases. A Scooby-Doo sequel called Scoob 2 is reportedly in development. The first Scoob movie released during the middle of the coronavirus pandemic in May of 2020. This prompted Warner Brothers to experiment by simultaneously releasing the Scooby-Doo film in theaters, the ones that remained open, and to digital platforms. As a result, the flick grossed $26.3 million at the box office against the $90 million budget. Now, Comic Book Movie reports that a Scooby-Doo sequel currently known as Scoob 2 is reportedly in development. While not officially confirmed, director of the first film, Tony Cervone, did offer up details on plans to follow up Scoob with a sequel. Cervone states that the creative team behind the first movie is back and working on something new. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one!